After the failure of the first mission, a second mission is sent to Earth's sun in a desperate attempt to reignite it. There will be no more attempts after this one. Failure will mean extinction for all life on Earth. So let's talk about from 2007, the movie Sunshine, directed by Danny Boyle, starring Cillian Murphy, Rose Byrne, and Chris Evans. Uh, it's a science fiction film, doesn't get talked about very much for some reason. Very uh, interesting movie. Um, the special effects are great. It's almost entirely set in space aboard the spaceship Icarus 2. Um, the cast is top notch. There, the issue a lot of people seem to have with this is in the third act, it's like it changes into a different movie. Um, I'm not going to give you any more details than that, but I, I can see where someone would say that, um, but I disagree. Uh, the, one of the underlying themes for this entire movie, it's a very spiritual movie. It's all about mankind's relationship with the universe, with the divine. You see that in recurring motifs throughout. Uh, and as you work towards the third act, it becomes more and more apparent. Uh, and in the third act is where uh, there's like a little twist on the focus knob there. Uh, it's an entirely uh, new look at that subject. That goes from being uh, one of the many contexts of the film to becoming the only context of the film. It goes from being one of the things the film is about to the only thing the film is about, man's relationship with the universe and with the divine. Um, very deep, very, as I said, very spiritual movie. Uh, the ending is a beautiful, bittersweet uh, ending. It's just lovely, beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. It's perfect for this movie. You're going to hear a piece of music that gets used a lot in other movies. I've heard it. Um, I heard it in the first Wonder Woman movie on the sound, the score for that one. I heard it on The Walking Dead once on an early episode of The Walking Dead too. So you're going to re you're going to realize you're going to recognize that when you hear it. I think it's called the Adagio in. D major, maybe D minor, I don't know, but you'll recognize it when you hear it because I know I know you've heard it before. Anyway, go out and take a look at it. Come over and let me know what you think.